Hey, what's going on, people? Um, before I start after, um, you know, I have to give a special shout out to Nikki. Yeah, y'all, you know, hope you're doing okay. Um, yeah, now this issue right here, you know, uh, it just tr trips me out. I'm pretty sure it's probably tripping a whole lot of people out now. All right, in Baltimore, in the month of May, there were 40 murders. Um, it's ridiculous what's going on in Baltimore. Because apparently the police have pulled back, and they're not, you know, they're just like, hey, we're just going to pull back now since those cops got indicted. They're just going to pull back and let whatever goes on, goes on. And that bothers me because I'm just like, okay, the police pulled back, and now, you know, we're, we're running around killing each other. And then I hear Curtis Sleeve was going to go, go take the guardian angels. Somebody actually supposed to ask him to go, to go there, and I'm just like, anyone from uptown knows about the big fight the guardian angels had with, you know, the brothers in the hood and, up on Amsterdam, you know, back in the day, so, you know, I was just like, on by the way, I wasn't a part of that fight, I wasn't even there when that happened, so, you know, at least I had been there, I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have gotten involved in it, because I wasn't that type of guy back then, but, I'm just like, this stuff going on, you know, all the news is talking about this freaking Bruce Jenner changing his name, and becoming a woman, and the thing is, I don't really give a fuck to be honest with you, but why you 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 over the last twenty years it seems like shit like this is being not only is being pushed is forced into the consciousness of people who really ain't into that lifestyle, but it's like you're supposed to celebrate, and I'm just like, am I supposed to fucking celebrate this? And you know, then I hear old President Obama give some celebration. Oh, cause, like you know, President Obama sometimes you know I respect the man, but sometimes I think somebody needs to slap the shit out of him and tell him to like you know get some cojones or something, you know, like, really? You're the President of the United States and that's what you're doing? You're making this country look fucking weird. I mean, this whole story, you know, I don't care how much these people want to do, whether it's the gay or whatever, shit to have your average person is weird. I mean, you know, you want to know they want to have this accepted as normal, but this shit is fucking weird. And it's like, if you want to live that weird lifestyle, that's, I'm speaking for me, I'm not speaking for all black men, but if you want to live that lifestyle, Go ahead and do your thing. It's between you and whoever, man, woman, or whatever, both. You want to do that shit behind closed doors and go ahead and do it. But, you know, or if you can, why, why put it in my face? That's the question. Why are you going to push it, put, not only put it in my face, push it into my consciousness, but then act like I'm supposed to celebrate this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, this shit isn't Christian to me. I mean, you know, you're going to say Christians like about love. I'm like, yeah, if you, you be Christian, will still give you love, but you ain't going to come to trick come in church. You a man dressed like a woman. I'm like, hold on, you better back the fuck up. Yeah, you can't come in here like that. But I'm just like, what the fuck? This is all over the place. And just get tired of this shit before, you know, while well, it's just like, you know, the gay shit is getting pushed into everything. I mean, I don't watch much TV, but there's a show I watch called The Flash. In The Flash, they got some gay story, ghost story storyline going on where the the captain of the police priest thinks supposed to be getting married to a man. I'm just like, whoa, how the hell? I don't even know you that in real life some shit like that could be pulled off. Maybe it really is going on somewhere. I don't know if the cops would even respect the dude. You know, I, I don't know that. But it's a very small part of that show. The show is, I find, enjoyable still. Because, you know, I still got a little bit of kid of me, you know, with the super hill stuff and all of that. But I'm just like, you know, every single show has to have some kind of gay storyline, some trans storyline, and some kind of weird storyline. They have to put and they put it in there because they're trying to push the agenda. And I'm like, you know, I'm just tired of that shit. And this shit with Bruce Jenner, I'm, I put the picture up of him as they on the Wheaties box set because that's how I remember him. Like, you know, he was supposed to have been the super athlete back in the day. You know, he was like, you know, the super athlete, you know, won all two, you know, I don't know if he won all 10 events, I'll be honest with you, but, you know, he won the decathlon. You know, you're supposed to be like a superman to do something like that. So. You know, you want you wonder what is this about? Are they trying to say like, yeah, the most macho man or the the most alpha dude is supposed to really be soft? Something, you know, what 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 the fuck is the message of all of this? You know, but I, I seriously get tired of this shit with all this shit that's going on in this world. This is all over media, all over the fucking place. Just like really, and the shit to me, I know the people are gonna say that I'm um you know people you know, it's not even homophobic. It, in this case, what is it, transphobic? I guess people say you're transphobic, but, you know, I like to think of myself as a Christian. You know, I haven't gone to church since the last time I remember when. I still like to think of myself as a Christian. And this shit is just weird. 
Yeah, I can't see this shit is any other way. You could put the million stars like this up, and this shit is still gonna be weird to me. And I know a lot of people are like, whoa, black people, they might be like, whoa, black people, you black men are killing each other, and you black women, black women are having babies with everybody except for the man is married. Yeah, that's true, you know, you, you, we, yeah, we still call ourselves Christians, you know. And, you know, we definitely do our dirt, and we, we, we know, but, you know, this shit, I don't know. You know I'm just wondering, is, is it just me? I'm just like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to jump up and down and start. You know, throwing a fucking parade because this dude wants to call himself a woman now. And, you know, I'm not going to say it's normal either. I mean, you, I'm pretty sure maybe legally they have this legally defined as being normal and shit now. Because now, you understand, men, that, men who define themselves as trans can actually use women's bathrooms. Which, well, hey, whatever. But, you know, <laughs> but I'm kind of tired of this shit. I'm like, seriously, why... There's no need to keep pushing this in people's faces. If you want to do that shit, then do it. But why the fuck do you even put it in my face? Why? I don't, you know. I know they want to define this shit as normal, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. I mean, hey, maybe they're going to brainwash the kids. Maybe a couple of generations down the road, kids will go to school thinking this shit is as normal as anything else. But I doubt it. I think even kids to a degree, they, they, even kids to a degree, even before they, 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 they know there's something kind of strange. You're like, you know, there's something about the gay, talk about the gay stuff, they're like, you know, uh, even though they don't fully understand, I think they kind of like, yo, there's something kind of strange about this. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I'm just, you know, shit is just gets a little bit too much sometimes. Anyway, thanks for listening, people. Um, let me know how you feel about this, you know. Anyway, thanks for listening. Peace.